Hello dear students, welcome to today's class. Today we are going on to study about the concept of buoyancy. Before we move on to that, let me ask you a question. Have you ever had a swim in a pool or any water bodies and you feel lighter when you are swimming? And have you ever carried a bucket of water from a well? And when you lift the water from the well, you will experience that the weight of the bucket containing water will be more when it is lifted above the surface of the water than when it is inside the water. Okay, and all these can be explained based on the concept of buoyancy. So first of all, we can do an activity or we can just understand an activity to get clear idea about buoyant force or buoyancy. So for this, we require a plastic bottle and a bucket containing water. First of all, you have to just take the bottle and you have to place this bottle with the cork tightly placed into the surface of the water. What will happen? Definitely, it will float on the surface of water. And now you try to push this bottle inside the water. We can see or we can experience a force acting in the upward direction against the force that we are giving. And when you try to push it deeper and deeper, we can experience more and more force in the upward direction. And when we just release our hand, what will happen or release the bottle, what will happen? It bounces back. So what is the reason behind this? This is because a force is acting on this bottle in the upward direction by the liquid or the water. This force acting in the upward direction is called the buoyant force. And so there is no gravitational force of attraction acting onto this bottle. Uh, acting onto this bottle. Yes, gravitation attract attraction also there. But along with that, we have got the upward force given by the liquid. So there are two types of forces or two forces are acting on this particular bottle when it is being placed inside the water. One is gravitational force. In other words, we can say that it is the weight of the object. Second one is the upward force acting on this object which is given by the liquid. So what will happen if the gravitational force is uh, less than the upward force given by the object? Definitely the object will move upward. That has happened in the case of bottle. And but when you just consider the case of an iron nail or a coin, if you place it inside the water, what will happen to it? It will sink. So here there is no upward force or buoyant force. Yes, here also we have got the buoyant force, but this is less compared to the weight of the object or the gravitational force of attraction. So it sinks. Okay, so now let us understand this in detail. What is this buoyant force? How can we define buoyant force then? All liquids exert a force on the object which is placed above it. And this is called the buoyant force. It is otherwise known as upthrust or upward force. Now let us understand why an iron nail sinks but a ship made of iron floats on water. Here, iron nail occupies less space and it is solid and compact. So the density is more than the density of water. So the upthrust experienced onto it is less compared to the weight of it. So it sinks in water. Whereas the ship made of iron floats on water because it is hollow at the bottom and is having air space in it. So the volume is more and the density is less compared to the water. So the upthrust experienced onto the ship is more. And also the ship displaces water more than its own weight so it floats on water. Whereas in the case of iron nail it sinks because the weight of the water displaced by the iron nail is less than its own weight. This is explained in the Archimedes principle formulated by Archimedes. If the density of the object is less than the liquid on which it is placed then the object will be floating. If the density of the object is greater than the density of the liquid on which it is placed, it will sink. 